What's up boys and girls, Tucker Doss here and it is another exciting day to be alive. Today is a very special day. I'm bringing back the vlog, people. I'm bringing back the fucking vlog. Very special day for that reason A, but B, this is the first vlog I've done since I moved to Los Angeles. Lots happened, lots changed. Milo, what do you think about all this, buddy? He freaks out when I make that sound. Good boy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> For whatever reason, yeah, oh, good boy. For whatever reason, Milo freaks out whenever I make this sound. Ready? <laughs> I love you too, buddy. Anyway, so that's what today's vlog is about. How it's been owning a dog and how my life has changed since owning a dog because it's changed a lot, honestly. As a puppy, Milo was literally the cutest dog in the world. I remember picking him up and taking him home for the first time, showing him the apartment. He could fit right against your chest and it was the best thing in the entire world. He's just the most amazing little dog. And it's been so cool to like raise him and train him. I make it sound like he's my child, but he kind of is. Is it being? <laughs> You're just sitting and being, huh? You need to uh, work on that. Scout and I have always been very relaxed about how we train him, you know, like when it comes to playing with other dogs, we'd always let him play with other dogs. Even if it was a bigger dog, we'd let Milo go up there, get barked at, and he'd learn from it, and since then he's been like the easiest dog, and he loves every dog. Either way, it's an amazing experience, and I wouldn't change it for the world. Moral of the story, if you're thinking about getting a dog, I would recommend one thing. Just make sure you're ready for a lifestyle we're not having to worry about just yourself anymore. If you're somebody who loves traveling, you now have to just take into consideration that you have to make sure your dog, A, can go. You're going from being able to do whatever you want to still being able to do whatever you want, but now you have somebody else to worry about in your life who is your best friend and who goes through everything with you and makes you laugh, makes you smile, but you have to worry about where he can and can't go and if he can come with you or not. Or she! So, my vote is get a dog, but just know what you're doing, people. Anyways! Why? What are you doing? Get it, get it. Bloody might be wondering why does Milo have this t-shirt on? Well, he has a little growth. Yeah. He has a little growth coming in on his little leg there. He's a, as we call it in German, Problemes Kind. Case in point, back in the day when Milo was about three to four months old, he went into the bushes and all the dogs that were chasing him followed him into the bushes and he choked like, <clears throat> and then three seconds later came out and seemed to be totally fine. So a day or two goes by, he is eating his food but he's throwing it right back up. We're wondering like what the hell is happening. We let this happen for two more days and we bring him into the vet. And what has happened is that he has decided to swallow a whole tennis ball. Yes, that happened. While I love the dog with all my heart, this ran us about $2,000 for the surgery to get it removed from his stomach, and that was not fun. Yeah, buddy, you're lucky you didn't get euthanized, yeah. I'm totally kidding. Honestly, I couldn't see myself without a dog. He is like literally my best friend, he makes me laugh all the time. You know, days like this, where all my friends, <laughs> All my friends are do out doing something and I want to go on an adventure. I don't have to ask Milo twice. I just have to say outside and he starts wagging his tail and freaking out. It's freaking amazing. But anyways, back to the vlog at hand here. It, I, it's been a while since I've vlogged, honestly. I used to do these every week and now since I moved to Los Angeles, I really want to push YouTube and I really want to start doing a lot more of it. So I'm going to start trying to push these out weekly again. And I know saying it on camera and putting it on the vlog will help me do it because it makes me commit more. I, I really want to start these vlogs back up. Now I'm in beautiful California, Los Angeles, California, in the Santa Monica Mountains. Couldn't think of a better place to be with my best friend. But uh, this is one of my new favorite hikes here in Santa Monica. And it's actually not really Santa Monica, it's more like Topanga, but whatever. One of my new favorite places. So with that said, that is today's vlog, boys and girls. I'm really trying, not to go on a rant here, but I'm gonna. I'm really trying to get back into these videos and get back to like the creative Tucker that I was. I think it's really easy with social media, these days especially, to get caught up in comparisons. For instance, there's so many people in my line of work, specifically video. I'm, I've always loved video, City, like back in high school, I literally, I used to sit in class and not be able to concentrate because I'd conceptualize some video idea and I'd run it through my head, closing my eyes while class was going and then like I couldn't wait to go film it and edit it that day. That's how I've always sort of been 
But I feel like somewhere down the line, I think maybe because of getting caught up in social media, I sort of, I don't want to say I lost touch with that, but I, I kind of did in a way. Um, where, in a way that's sort of more or less like, I need to get out and start creating again and not care about what it's about or who it's for. Just kind of go create for me and create what I love. So many people you might be seeing taking a break from social media, people that have these bigger followings, not posting as often. And I think a lot of people are starting to realize that. It's like, it's, it's more or less easy to gain traction on social media, but you almost start doing it in a way that's creating content for other people and kind of pertaining to what they like more than what you like yourself. With these vlogs, I'm gonna worry a lot less about what people might watch and more about what I might enjoy making because at the end of the, at the, end of the day, the reason I'm starting to vlog is to look back for myself and to see these memories and see where I am, the beautiful Santa Monica Mountains. And boy oh boy, we got a crazy sunset today. Anyways, with that said, With that said, that is the vlog today, boys and girls. <laughs> and uh, until next time, we'll see you later. Woo!